Hello everyone. Welcome to another video on molecular orbital theory. In this video, we will learn how to construct the MO energy level diagrams for some homonuclear diatomic molecules. The homonuclear diatomic molecules are made up of two atoms of the same element. The molecules which we will study are from the elements of the first row that is hydrogen and helium. This will be followed by the second row elements lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine and neon. In this video, we will begin with the hydrogen molecule, then the H2 plus ion, the helium molecule, the helium molecule ion, then the lithium and beryllium molecules. In the first video on molecular orbital theory, we have seen how to construct the energy level diagram for homonuclear diatomic molecules. Once the energy level diagram is drawn, the electrons have to be filled in the molecular orbitals. Now the same rules which have been followed while filling electrons in the atomic orbitals have to be followed here. The first is the above principle. According to this, the electrons are filled in the orbitals in the increasing order of energies. That is, the molecular orbital having the lowest energy will be filled first. The second is the Pauli's exclusion principle. Maximum two electrons with opposite spins can be filled in one molecular orbital. The third is the Hunt's rule. The pairing of electrons in orbitals in a subshell will take place only after each orbital is singly occupied. After the electrons are filled in the atomic and the molecular orbitals, the next is to write down the MO electronic configuration. Then we calculate the bond order using the formula bond order is equal to half into nb minus na where nb is the number of electrons in the bonding molecular orbitals and na is the number of electrons in the antibonding molecular orbitals then we calculate the stabilization energy stabilization energy is minus beta into nb plus beta into na After calculating the bond order and the stabilization energy, we can comment on the existence and the stability of a molecule or ion. When the bond order is greater than zero and the stabilization energy is less than zero, the molecule or ion will exist and it will be stable. And this is observed when Nb is greater than Na. Finally, we can comment on the magnetic property. When there is no unpaired electron present, the molecule or the ion will be diamagnetic. And if one or more unpaired electrons are present, the molecule or the ion will be paramagnetic. We will now construct the energy level diagram for homonuclear diatomic molecules of the first two elements. We will construct the MO energy level diagram for the first element which is hydrogen. So for the hydrogen molecule, the first we write down the electronic configuration of the element. Now hydrogen with atomic number 1 has the electronic configuration 1s1. In the diagram, on the left hand side we show the atomic orbital of the first hydrogen. On the right hand side is the atomic orbital of the second hydrogen and in between will be the molecular orbitals of the hydrogen molecule. The 1s atomic orbital of one hydrogen combines with the 1s atomic orbital of the second hydrogen and as two atomic orbitals combine, two molecular orbitals will be formed. One is the sigma 1s which is the bonding molecular orbital which has lower energy. And 
The other is the sigma star 1s, which is the antibonding molecular orbital having higher energy. Then we will fill the electrons in the atomic orbitals first. So one electron in the 1s atomic orbital of the first hydrogen and one electron in the 1s of the second hydrogen. Now total there are two electrons in the atomic orbitals. These two electrons will now be filled in the molecular orbitals by following all the different routes. The two electrons will be filled in the molecular orbital having the lowest energy. So two electrons enter the sigma 1s molecular orbital. Now we will write the MO electronic configuration. So this is sigma 1s 2. Then we calculate the bond order. It is half into Nb minus Na, which is half into 2 minus 0. So this is 1. So this shows that there is one sigma bond between the two hydrogen atoms. Then we calculate the stabilization energy. This is minus beta into Nb. So Nb is 2 plus beta into Na which is 0. So this turns out to be minus 2 beta. Now the bond is greater than 0 and the stabilization energy is less than 0. So the hydrogen molecule will exist and it will be stable. We can comment on the magnetic property. As there is no unpaired electron, the molecule will be diamagnetic. Now we will consider the H2 plus molecule ion. In the energy level diagram, on the left hand side we have the hydrogen atom and on the right hand side is the H plus ion. Now when we fill the electron, one electron will be in the oneness of the hydrogen atom and in the H plus there will be no electron. So total electrons is one. That single electron will enter the sigma 1s. So the electronic configuration now is sigma 1s 1. The bond order is half into Nb which is 1 minus 0. So this is half. The stabilization energy is minus beta into 1 plus beta into 0 which is minus beta. Now the molecule ion will exist but it will be less stable as compared to that with hydrogen because hydrogen molecule has the bond order 1 and stabilization energy there is minus 2 beta. Regarding the magnetic property, as there is one unpaired electron, the molecule ion will be paramagnetic. Then we move on to the second element, helium with atomic number 2. So the electronic configuration is 1s2. Two electrons will be filled in the 1s of both the helium atoms. So now total four electrons have to be filled in the molecular orbitals. Two electrons in the sigma 1s and two in the sigma star 1s. The electronic configuration now will be sigma 1s2 and sigma star 1s2. The bond order is half into Nb which is 2 minus 2 which is 0. So this shows that there is no bond between the helium atoms. Stabilization energy is minus beta into 2 plus beta into 2 which is 0. Now as the bond order is 0 and the stabilization energy is 0, the helium molecule will not exist. Now for the He2 plus molecule ion. So two electrons in the oneness of the helium atom and in case of He plus, there will be one electron. So total three electrons will be filled in the molecular orbitals. 
2 in the sigma 1 is and 1 in the sigma star 1 is. The electronic configuration sigma 1 is 2 and sigma star 1 is 1. Bond order is half into 2 minus 1 which is half. Stabilization energy is minus beta into 2 plus beta into 1. So this is minus beta. Bond order is greater than 0 and stabilization energy is less than 0. So the molecule ion will exist and it will have some stability. Now we will see if the molecule ion will be diamagnetic or paramagnetic. There is one unpaired electron. So the molecule ion will be paramagnetic. Now we will discuss the MO energy level diagram for homonuclear diatomic molecules from the second row element. First we will discuss for the lithium molecule. The lithium atom has atomic number 3. So the electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s1. Now in the energy level diagram, we will consider only the 2s atomic orbital as the 1s electrons are the non-bonding electrons. Now in the same manner, we can draw the energy level diagram. Now regarding the filling of electrons, there is one electron in the 2s of lithium. So on the left hand side and on the right hand side in the 2s atomic orbitals, we show one electron each. So two electrons will be filled in the sigma 2s. Then regarding the electronic configuration, now though in the energy level diagram, we have not shown the 1s orbitals. In the electronic configuration, we have to mention them. So we write sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2. Now these two can be even uh, written as kk for the k shell. Then there are two electrons in the sigma 2s. So we write sigma 2s2. The electronic configuration can also be written as kk sigma 2s2. We will now calculate the bond order. It is half into nb which is and Na is 0. So half of 2 minus 0 is 1. So this shows that there is one bond between the two lithium atoms. Stabilization energy is minus beta into 2 plus beta into 0. This is minus 2 beta. So the molecule will be stable and it is observed to exist in the vapor phase. Regarding the magnetic property, as there is no unpaired electron, the molecule will be diamagnetic. Then we will discuss about the beryllium molecule. Beryllium atom with atomic number 4 will have the electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2. So, two electrons in both the 2s atomic orbitals. These four electrons will be filled in the molecular orbitals. Two electrons in the sigma 2s and two electrons in the sigma star 2s. The electronic configuration in the same manner it can be written as kk sigma 2s2 and sigma star 2s2. The bond order will be half into 2 minus 2, which is 0. So this shows that there will be no bond between the beryllium atoms. Stabilization energy is 
minus beta into 2 plus beta into 2. So this will be 0. As the bond order is 0 and the stabilization energy is 0, the beryllium molecule will not exist. In this video, we have studied about the energy level diagrams for hydrogen molecule. Then we discussed for the H2 plus ion. Then the helium molecule. Then it was the H2 plus molecule ion. Then the two elements from the second row, lithium and beryllium. So thank you for watching the video. And for any queries, please contact mnjy at the rate gmail.com. Thank you.